All right, it's crucial. Power 106, the star of school this year, AJ. Hey. I, listen, it's so funny because I was like, ah, God, I'm not going to call her Lainey, I promise. But I'm going to call you Lainey. That's okay. Lainey Lewis from right. uh, Goldberg's and from school, uh, ABC, uh, Wednesday nights, 830. Um, you have had a really lucky career. I mean, you started out with Disney, then you end up right here on ABC. I mean, you got to feel a little bit blessed, right? I definitely feel blessed. Yeah. It's crazy because it's been... You know, it's been a long run. Mm -hmm. I've never led a show before, so I kind of feel like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for so long, and I'm mm -hmm. kind of finally at this place in my career where I do feel really um, comfortable and ready, but not mm -hmm. too comfortable. I'm still like, all right, this is not like, this ain't easy. You know what I mean? It never gets easy, but mm -hmm. I definitely feel like I'm super, super blessed. Yeah, I was going to ask you, take me back to that call that you get from Adam or the writers, and they say, hey, by the way, we want you to be the face of the show. That had to be like a oh wow moment, but at the same time, oh crap, the pressure. Yeah, pressure on for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. I I honestly was shocked. Like, I remember Adam Goldberg and Mark Farrick and Doug Robinson calling me, I think it was like last March at this point. And they were like, look, you know, we're, we're retooling the pilot. We're bringing it back. We've kind of reformulated it with ABC. And we really feel like it should be told from the eyes of Lainey. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, figure out what her life is going to be as an adult. And centered around her will be the rest of the teachers. And you'll have Glasscott and Meller and the whole gang. Right, right. And I was like, what? Like, what? this is crazy. Like I, I knew in some way Adam was going to bring me in for some sort of spinoff, but mm -hmm. I had no idea it was going to be in this capacity. And I, I honestly was shocked. I remember calling my mom right after and I like, I cried. Like I just was so, That's so cool. Though. it was so cool. It was the biggest gift ever. And it's been like the funnest job of my life. You know, it's a really good show. And, and Thank I you. think what I like about it is in this day and age, like when you have everybody doing their own thing on their own devices and binge watching and all that, everybody kind of, consumes media separately in a way i yeah. love the fact that i can get my wife and my kids yes. on the couch and every wednesday i know i have two great shows to watch back to back with goldbergs and schooled and Thanks. it's just kind of a cool family thing because that's kind of how my life was when i was younger and i think you guys have given us an opportunity to have the family bonding in front of the tv instead of everybody in their bed looking down at their own totally. phone you know i appreciate that. that's got to feel really cool sweet. you know right it does and um speaking of that you talk, you mentioned tim and you're surrounded by some amazing amazing comedians i mean I that, that has to be like school in itself pardon the bad pun it, totally it yeah. is cool i mean literally it's like i'm going to acting class every day i mean brian and tim and brett i'm with like absolute comedic geniuses and they're all completely different and laney's yeah. relationship with each one of them is totally different totally which is yeah. really fun yeah um but i really feel like it's kind of we're kind of like the um we were all like the underdogs almost in a weird way of the goldbergs no, and like true. not seen all the time but like known but not really but loved but like you know, in and out. Well, yeah, you and guys, now we get our moment. Yeah, it's you cool. guys had your pa people that were very passionate about your characters because you were a very important part of everyone in that family's life, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. But and, it was told, obviously, from you know the viewpoint of, of Adam Goldberg and his family. And so now yeah. it's it's neat that the teachers get to tell their story. It is. It's really cool. And, you know, it's funny because when I grew up, I wanted to be a teacher. Far, I did not have radio in mind or doing anything like that. I really? wanted, Yeah, I wanted to be a you teacher. You wanted to be a teacher? I wanted to be a teacher, but then I found out how much they made and I said, no, nah, forget it. You're it's, like, no, no, no I'm going to radio. It. But I think that's what cool about Lainey's life because uh, the, your character's life is that, you know, she tried some stuff, went to college, didn't work out, much like I did, right? And then right. and then she goes out to LA and tries to have that success and then she finds herself back in her hometown doing teaching. Yeah. Like, your portray that character is much like a lot of people's lives because people are going to try and fail and then it end up typically where they never thought they'd be. Totally. Yeah. I feel like that's life. I mean, it's weird. At a really young age, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I mm -hmm. am doing it. So mm -hmm. in a way, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm living such a different life than Lainey. Mm -hmm. However, there are so many people in my life that mm -hmm. have lived kind of that same way Lainey has, where it's mm -hmm. like, I thought I was going to do one thing, I ended up doing another. Mm -hmm. It's still my passion, but it's a different road for me than I ever expected. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I think at the beginning of the show, Lainey feels like that's failure in a yeah, way yeah, yeah, because she feels like I'm not really doing this professionally and then she realizes that's not true at all I'm actually able to like basically instill what I love onto these kids which mm -hmm. I feel like she ended up having at William Penn as well but not in the same way yeah yeah you're very like you relate to the kids in a certain way there's that one episode too where uh, CB and Lainey are going back and forth on how they want to instruct the kids oh the, yeah the yeah crisscross pillow, episode pillow right talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it was so great because it's <laughs> like you guys are going f back and forth and you have different philosophies 
philosophies on how to get your message through to the kids. Right. By the way, your philosophy is the one I would have gave them. Don't look like an honestly, idiot. You'll never live it down. Like, honestly, but, mine is too. But then I also like love the innocence of what CB teaches them. Because it's like, he's totally right. At the end of the day, like that's the way to be. Like your true self, true character. Meanwhile, Lainey is like, I'm trying to protect them. Yeah, So exactly. she's always coming from a good place. Well, you kind of keep it 100 with the kids. And I like totally. that. And I think that kids need that because my teachers were always so stuffy and boring. I never had a young teacher. All of them had bow ties and they were dorky. So I think you dipping in there is really, really cool. And, and it so shows too. them a good way. AJ Michalk is here. Of course, uh, a schooled ABC 7, 830 on Wednesday nights. Such a great show. We mentioned CB, uh, uh, CB's character. He's totally falling for Lainey, right? I mean, He's that's going to eventually yeah. happen at before the end of the season, For sure. Right? Okay. But Barry's going to come in and kind of no. mess things up. Yeah. Barry. Yeah, we actually just announced that recently. Barry comes in towards the end of the season and tries to kind of basically kind of try to re restart the the romance that they once had and okay. i think it really messes up cb because he's like who the hell is this guy ah I love and meanwhile triangle. he's I like love oh it. this is from your past yeah it's it's a it's a good moment that's cool because yeah. I, I love that you guys um had beverly goldberg come in for an episode and i'm guessing you I guys will it. probably have a few more of the cast members besides barry as well we do yeah actually okay. this wednesday so tomorrow night is a mm-hmm. great episode with um erica goldberg comes back ah so nice. it's our 10-year reunion mm-hmm. and you know laney's best friend is back in town and mm-hmm. no one has any idea laney works there mm-hmm. so at first laney's like covering she's like i don't work at william penn she's trying <laughs> to like tear down all the teacher posters and whatever <laughs> and meanwhile it's like all of a sudden it's it's like, well, I got to admit this at this point because it's pretty clear the way Meller and Glasgow are talking to me. It's like, I, mm. yes, I work here. And Erica's like, are you kidding me? Like this, what an honor. Like this is mm. so cool. You're actually like informing these kids in a really great way. Yeah. And kind of helps Lainey realize like I'm, even though I didn't go the route of like, you know, a rock star. It's like, I'm mm-hmm. a rock star to these kids. It's a really cool moment. Well, she's still living at home, so she really she's has still no living at home. to judge. Yeah, she's still I living mean, at home, and she's with Jeff, and she's good. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's got this. When you guys do the music... They have a boat. Yeah, tr- oh, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. You, when you guys do the um, when you guys do the uh, the musical numbers, I mean, obviously you have a musical background. Um, that's got to be the best. Like, when you guys do the new kids on the block, and when it's you get so crisscross, like, do you get extra excited when you see some of that in the script, and you go, yes, you I do. Perform. I get really pumped. I always know, though, that those are going to be like those are going to be our friday scenes and we're going to mm. be there till like you know 2 3 a.m into wow. saturday because usually those big numbers are like save them for the last day shoot as long as you can mm-hmm. but i also know it's going to be our time to like really have fun because it's mm-hmm. usually 10 of us cast members mm-hmm. there's choreography christine lakin always does the choreography mm-hmm. she's a blast mm-hmm. she's choreographed us like pregnant twice now mm-hmm. during goldberg's like oh she's unreal and it's just amazing it's like we usually have a really good time doing those numbers and it's always a song that i love um, I mean, Criss Cross, to be honest, I was not as familiar with that song, which is nuts because it's like Jump was huge. That was a huge, huge But I kind of missed song. that because yeah. I was also like 91. So I, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. I was like a kid when that came out. But I have to say, like, there are some numbers that really bring me back. Yeah, it's fun. I, I just think it's cool because it does take me back and like gives me a chance to talk to my kids. Like, this was cool, you know? Because totally. everything they think that dad did before was dorky and horrible, you know? Right, right. But I could say, hey, like, I listen to that. Okay, that's cool. I get like, a few oh, cool like, points. Like, that's on the show. So that's cool. Yeah, exactly. You make it cool for them. Oh, so good. thank you very much for that. Very I love right. that you guys have been tackling uh, on on uh, school, by the way, ABC 7, 830 on Wednesday nights after the Goldbergs. Uh, a lot of the great trends. Tamagotchi was so good. Yeah. Uh, when Meller had all those, his little babies and all that stuff. I love that episode. That was so fun. Um, what else are we going to see? Furbies? Are we going to see... Oh, you know, we don't have Furbies this season. Beanie but, Babies? Uh, gosh, we don't touch on Beanie Babies season Okay, I need either. to be writing for your show. You That's, need to. Honestly, saying. you're joining the staff. Okay, cool, yeah. It's official. I'm going to tell them for season Can you give two. me a ride to the lot? On, I can, on the, yeah. Okay, let's cool. head to Sony. All right, very good. Um, so that's funny. I, you know, I know they're going to obviously save a ton because there's so much material to write for. So I mm-hmm. feel like a lot of those like trend toys are going to be saved. Mm-hmm. However, we have some really cool like nods to like great films coming up like tomorrow is Romy and Michelle like, I was gonna to me, say 10 year reunion makes sense yeah. that's like the pinnacle of the season in the sense that that's my favorite movie from the 90s really I love Lisa Kudrow like she actually mm. recently Instagrammed about the show no way really yes she was like oh that's cool this show on ABC like used Romy and Michelle as a verb and it's really funny because we literally Romy and Michelle the reunion oh that's great and it was really a sweet moment and I was like oh my gosh Lisa Kudrow knows about our show anyway that's to me that like 
when we touch on those kind of movies, like mm-hmm. movies that I, you know, grew up watching, mm-hmm. that's when I'm like, I'm so stoked. Yeah, that's what I, I don't love. know how much more I can give away, but yeah, I don't know. Don't give it too much away because that's okay. one of the things I loved about the Goldbergs is they tackled all those great '80s movies. I know, you know, I know. Wh- whatever the they were, and then again, it gives me an opportunity to be like, hey, this movie was so cool, and then we'll literally go back and watch some of them, you know. And I think yeah. that if you guys start doing that with school, that'll be amazing because I mean, there's so many great. Uh, you think about Titanic. There's so much like good there's stuff. so many like '90s movies that like, Clueless. I mean, Clueless, I really want to do. It's endless. It yeah, is. It that's is very cool. Man. And somehow they always work it into the storyline in like an authentic way. It's not like we're doing like a, a musical or a remake of it. It's like mm-hmm. it has to do with the storyline. No, for sure. tricky writing. Yeah, no, and even like the Beastie Boys and stuff from from Goldberg's. Like yeah. when Barry tackled the Beastie Boys. Oh I, my gosh, it yeah. is. It's very organic. Like you guys don't cheese it up too much, but you, you guys are kind of educating the younger audience at the same time, which is very cool. I think so too. Do you when you get a script like that? Do you go back? I mean, I'm sure you know Clueless and you know Romeo and Michelle and stuff like that. But when you were on Goldberg's and even now with school when you see something like that do you instantly go yeah google and do homework as soon as i read it even sometimes like if adam is is currently in the writer's room he'll like mm-hmm. shoot me a text and be like hey do you know the song i think i'm writing it in. you're gonna sing it next week and i'm like oh like, yeah oh, i do know this but let me look it up because i haven't heard it in 10 years so i definitely like the show moves really fast mm-hmm. and it's insane how they get the rights to the things they get i mean it's like yeah, the it's fact that we amazing. got like Oasis, Wonderwall on an episode. Like, yeah. who is getting Oasis music on a major network show? Like, it's, cr- I don't know how they do it. However, they're just music ma- magicians over there. I don't know. But I literally, like, will read his text and be like, okay, time to watch that movie. Time to listen to that song. And it brings me back immediately. Most of the things I know. Sometimes I don't. Okay, AJ Mishkala, um I'm sorry, Miss Alka. My, okay. I knew I was going to do it wrong, and that's why no, I said you're good. I'm just, just Lady Lewis. Lainey. You're good. So, any, I wanted to talk to you about some of the boundaries that you push on the show. Yeah. Um, I sh- we were talking about you know the beeping out and the in that's one of my favorite things of the Goldbergs, and now in schooled as well. I feel like school pushes the boundaries just a little bit more. I think so too. Yeah, I think some. I, I think mean, the sex it's not set in a family. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about the 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 world of of teachers and students, and it's like you kind of have to push the boundary a little bit because mm-hmm. that's that's what growing up is all about. And mm-hmm. I, I I do think the Goldbergs does it as well, but I think school is definitely doing something a little bit different while staying true to the love and and um, like high character that Goldbergs has, which mm-hmm. I think is really important. Like when mm-hmm. we're you know closing up an episode and we're playing the tag, and it's like it always has a great message. Mm-hmm. I think both shows really do that. But I hope School is pushing the envelope a little bit. It I think is. it is. I feel like it is in yeah. just subtle ways. But some of the jokes, you know, that I love that they go over my kids' heads, totally. and I, me and my wife are laughing because that means they're great jokes. Number one, and that, that you guys are pushing the boundaries yeah. a little bit. And I love that you guys use that old school S too. For oh, the, the Stussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know how many times I did that in high school, bored out of my mind. And so many that. people drew that S. And yeah. shout out to Carrie Doherty, actually, one of our writers, who was uh-huh. the one who thought of that. She was like, we're going to do this dusty S. It's such a great, cool. sh- great, great, great show. Um, Thanks. You know, You're a true fan. I really I love am. it. No, like, I You're love like it. You're like referencing man. like season three. When you said Beastie Boys, I was like, whoa, that's old Goldbergs. That's like OG. No, nah, I mean, like I said, I mean, you guys, cool. I, it, the, the, it's we live in such a weird time and like we don't sit down in front of the TV as families no. anymore and do stuff like that. And this, it's a, such a genuine moment like for me and my kids and I love it and it gives me an opportunity to show them what was I was into, you know, yeah. back in the day. So no, I am a true fan. That's it's kind of trippy sitting here talking to you. But were you like an Adam or a Barry? What were you? Where or an? Oh, Erica? I was Barry. You were Barry. Yeah, man. Get out. I had, I had the crew. You know, I love hip hop. You had the JTP. Your version. I, yeah, I had yeah. The, yeah, everything. That was like that was my life. That's amazing. For sure, for sure. I love it. Um, and I, you know, one of the things I loved about uh, what I love about school is that you guys bring the teachers back and some of the staff yeah. from the original. I mean, it's amazing to me that first of all, Adam has all this footage like I just know. sitting around. It just blows my mind every time I watch an episode. But I love that you guys are differentiating yourself from the Goldbergs as well now and bringing back some of those teachers and those characters. It's cool that he that he's still in touch with them. Like I it's know. amazing. It's not because when he first told me he was kind of, you know, working this show he was mm-hmm. like yeah I'm really good friends with a lot of the teachers that like mm-hmm. helped raise me at that school mm-hmm. and I was like that's amazing because you've literally told you know six years of story in regards to the family that raised you you know at home but then mm-hmm. also the people that raised you in school and that was mm-hmm. a huge part of his life and this mm-hmm. is now like a really honorable moment for these people that that really informed who Adam was going to be I mean his mm-hmm. favorite teacher growing up was CB no Chuck kidding. Brown like yeah. in real life like mm-hmm. Chuck was everything to Adam and mm-hmm. so casting someone like Brett was really important to Adam and it's amazing how every single 
moment of the show is personally curated by Adam Goldberg. And I think that's really cool. I don't I don't really know how many shows are like that. No, you're right. And that's what you're told to do. If you have a passion in life, you, you know, you, we tell our kids and, and I'm sure your parents instilled this in you. And it's obvious that it worked for you because, I mean, you probably love singing and love dancing, and love music and yeah. love acting. And if you're able to do what you love, you have to put a thousand percent in it. You and he, you could see that he does that in every single show. And you guys do it in every single episode as well. Is there something uh, from the 90s that you're dreading? Dreading them putting into a script? Oh, um... Because I think everything's been super positive and he seems like you're into everything. Is there something where you go, oh, God, I hope they don't make me do this from the 90s? You know, the one thing that has always creeped me out, which is actually an <laughs> 80s thing, and Adam loves them as Garbage Pail Kids, which I know were still big in the 90s. Yeah, they, yeah. That was more of an 80s moment, It right? was more Garbage of Garbage Pail really freaks me out. I think Furbies are really creepy. I don't want them to do a Furby <laughs> episode. Like, I just think they're bizarre. I can imagine mm. they'll do something funny with it, which you mentioned, and I mm. think that, you know, shout out to the writer's room. They probably should do something. But Furbies really creep me out. The one thing I hate is Gak. And we did it. We Gak. actually did a uh, Gak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did a Gak episode, which, has mm. it already aired? Did that air? I don't remember. I don't think so. No, no, that's the one tomorrow night. That's oh, okay. the one tomorrow night. Okay. Anyway, you'll see Gak, and it was uh, miserable to play with because it's just a bad prop. It's just all <laughs> over you. It's turned my hand yellow. I don't know what's in there. Yeah, it's kind of gross. It's disgusting. I remember that. Not uh, easy to work with. Do you want to play uh, Power Password? We play this game on the air all the time, and basically sure. it's like the old password game, right, where I give you clues to something, and you yell out the answer when you know it, cool. and we got to get four in 30 seconds. Okay. It'll be all 90s stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, wow. All right, all right. you want to play? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I got this. I'm telling you, we're going to get it. If you've done any 90s homework, you're going to be fine. Okay, Andy, let's do it. All right. Okay, character on Friends, Chandler's roommate, love sandwiches. Monica. Nope. Uh, Chandler's oh roommate. Oh, Chandler's roommate is, uh, uh, oh, see, I know all their real names, but character, not their is character. character names. Joey. Yes, got oh it. Gosh. All right, uh, Seattle band, Kurt Cobain, Dave Grohl. Nirvana. All right, very good. Uh, 90s movie, Tom Hanks. He ran Big. really far. Oh, uh, Forrest, run, um, Forrest Gump. Yes, all right, uh, 90s TV show, uh, Bart, Homer, Lisa. Simpsons. Got it, done, four in, th in That's like 20 good. seconds. Oh, not bad. Five, I mean, no. my stalling was kind of bad no, on no, some no. of those. You did but... good, you did good. See, okay, we, okay. We won, man. That's it. I love the show, and I, I love your character. I'm so glad that they, they did this, because uh, as good as the Goldbergs was, I think that school has the potential to be just as huge, if not even better, because there's so many uh, 90s kids watching you know, That's so TV. Sweet. So yeah, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate thank it. You. AJ, it was a pleasure Thanks having you. Thanks for having you. me. I loved thank it. Thank you for freaking out my intern with the potential breakup song as oh, well. Oh, right on. Hey, we're going on tour. Come see our show. No way. Yeah, my sister so, and I are coming let's out. Let's talk about that real quick. So okay. um, uh, where are you guys going to go? What do the dates look like? And So we just released dates on AllieandAJ.com. We're coming out 35 cities-ish around the U.S., wow. May and June. Mm -hmm. um, so during you know break from the show. And mm -hmm. we're actually playing the Fonda here in L.A. June 26th and 27th. Very cool. So get your L.A. tickets. I'm really stoked because that was the first show we ever played like 12 years ago. Was at the was Fonda? the Fonda. Wow. And we're back there. It's going to be really neat. That's cool. It's going to be a very nostalgic So it's kind of cool. You get your acting in. You still get a tour. Yeah. My stuff. sister and I were like, okay, we're done with shows right now. Let's make an EP. Let's go on tour, and then we'll start filming again. Are you ready we're for insane. The, are you ready for the tour life, though? I'm so ready. I, yeah. Honestly, bus life for me is heaven. Mm -hmm. I sleep in that thing like a baby. I wake up in the next city, and we explore, and then we get on stage. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to have like some me time, too, and just kind of hang back and stuff like that. Watch Catch up on some movies. Yeah, watch Netflix. Bring the dogs. Yeah. I love it. It's oh, the Oh, yeah, dogs? What kind of dogs do you have? Well, we bring my sister's rescue. He's like a pit, um, Sharpe, mm -hmm. Beagle Max. Oh, and he's very cool. amazing. He's like the service dog on, on the bus. He's, he's the just, official mascot of the tour. He's the official mascot. He's so sweet. Very and he cool. really is like a therapeutic. Like it's so nice having an animal on the road. That's cool. He's like the band mascot. He's the best. That's cool. Well, thank you very much, yeah, AJ. Of course. I appreciate you coming yeah. by. Make Come sure to watch School, you guys. It's on Wednesday nights, 8.30, right after Goldberg's. It's a great show. And good luck on the tour. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks.